Meet the largest internal combustion machine humanity has ever produced. This transporter, which is half the size of a football field and the same weight as a full 1800 sedan, was used to move space shuttles. Its name is Crawler Transporter. In the 1960s, NASA tried many different methods, such as pulling a treble or moving it with rails, in order to take the space shuttle from the hangar it made to the takeoff place. But eventually, with the idea of transporting it with a vehicle, they asked one of America's largest mining companies to design a vehicle. It cost $128 million in today's money, as a bigger vehicle than the giant vehicles needed for mining. What do you think the width of the vehicle produced to carry a space shuttle should be? This crawler transporter is 114 feet wide and 131 feet long. The height from ground level to the platform is adjustable from 20 to 26 feet, and each side can be raised and lowered independently of the other. Weighing 272 tons, this transporter is four and a half times the height of a standard human. While crawling up the 5% grade to the launch location, the crawler uses a later guiding system and a leveling device to maintain the mobile launcher platform level with 10 minutes of arc. When the crawler transporter and mobile launch platform are positioned in the VAB or at the launch pad, a separate laser docking system offers precise accuracy. The reason why it is called a crawler is of course because it moves with tracks instead of wheels. It has eight tracks and each track has 57 shoes and each shoe weighs 1,984 pounds. 16 electric motors control these tracks, two in each corner. Built in 1965 to transport the enormous Saturn V rocket from Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Complex 39, the crawlers are unique in the whole world. The crawlers maintained their work for 30 years, delivering space shuttles to their launch sites after the moon landing and Skylab operations were completed. Since then, Every space shuttle has been transported by these enormous creatures on the final earthbound leg of their space missions. Originally, they carried all of the Apollo Saturn V rockets. How much cargo do you think such a huge vehicle can carry? Well, the weight of the crawler is approximately 6.6 .6 million pounds, which is rather light compared to the 10, 12 and 14 million pounds of the stuff that were transported. For instance, at the Kennedy Space Center, if you want to see how crawler lifts the load, they describe the path they will follow as follows. They will travel by going below something. They will go underneath it, jack it up, and then hoist it up with the launch vehicle on board. The will remove it, descend to their cruising level, and then move to the pad on top of a specially constructed crawler way, which consists of about a foot of rocks, four feet of hydraulically compressed limestone beneath the rocks, and as many feet of compressed sand beneath that to support their entire weight. The crawler's top speeds were 1 mph per hour while loaded and 2 mph per hour when unloaded as they made their way along the 3 meter and 4 mi crawlerways to launch complex 39A and launch complex 39B respectively. The journey takes around 5 hours on average from the VAB along the crawlerway to launch complex 39. For the Artemis missions, NASA currently intends to move the space launch system from the Vehicle Assembly Building to Launchpad 39B using the Crawler Transporter 2. Crawler Transporter 2 was transformed by NASA into a supercrawler at the beginning of the year for use in the Artemis program. 
Here you have an exclusive access to the crawler transporter in a virtual reality 360 tour. The mobile launcher, space launch system rocket and Orion spacecraft will all be transported together on this enormous flatbed to launch Pad 39B for takeoff. The road's unique construction includes several layers of fill, crushed rock and Tennessee river stones on top. Given how large the crawler is and how crucial it is to the Artemis program, it has to be carefully designed. NASA revealed its massive moon rocket in March 2022. For a wet dress rehearsal, NASA's Crawler Transporter 2 guided the massive Space Launch System rocket to the launch pad. The 5.75 million pound rocket and Orion crew capsule were transported to Launch Complex 39B by the organization's equally massive Crawler Transporter 2 at 5 p.m. The fact that this giant crawler, which was put forward as a crazy idea since the 1960s and started to be produced without delay, is still being used by NASA to carry rockets. It seems like we will push the limits beyond the sky with these machines that become more and more gigantic with each passing day.